Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with my throwback Thursday for August, which is the Pantone colour of the year, Emerald. This was the colour of the year for 2013 and I mentioned in my last video similar to this that I was thinking of doing it and a lot of people said they wanted to see the emeralds. I've got Austin in the room with me today, he is watching Toy Story so if you can hear him or Toy Story that is why. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about the Pantone colour of the year which like I said let me put my lighting up on this which was emerald. Um, to me when I first looked at this I thought this is like, it's not, it's not picking up on camera again which is really disappointing. Um, but for me this was a little bit lighter than what I would consider emerald normally to me I guess I consider more on the darker tones but I have found six in my collection that fit this theme three that fit kind of this color pretty well and there's just some other favorite emeralds of mine so let's dig in to Pantone color of the year 2013 throwback Thursday the three that kind of fit the definition of this the best are these three so luckily I have picked up kind of like one from three of the biggish brands the first one is called don't mess with OPI by OPI this came out in the Texas collection and I think I've shown this recently in some other videos but it's just a really nice green it does match this emerald color pretty well and to me it is quite just, it's just a nice emerald cream color there's no complaints with this um, it does take two coats to get opaque nice and easy formula like most OPI creams are this one is Don't Mess With OPI by OPI. The other green cream we then have is called Emerald Bay. This is my China Glaze and it came out in the most recent summer collection. Again, this is very, very similar to what the Pantone Colour of the Year is describing it as. And it's also very similar to Don't Mess With OPI. It's possibly a tad brighter, but very, very similar. Another one completely opaque in two, nice easy cream formula, Emerald Bay by China Glaze. And the third cream is by Essie and this is Ruffles and Feathers and out of my three creams it's probably closest to Emerald Bay, a really nice bright mid-toned green emerald colour. Um, this has got the worst formula out of these three creams, this will take you three coats, it is slightly more watery, um, one of the older um, Essie formulas that are now, uh, we're kind of getting past the bad formula days of Essie I feel, but this one is going to take you three, so it's Ruffles and Feathers by Essie. Then we move on to glitters, and I'm kind of giving you the glitter range of emerald I feel here. The first one is um, a really, it was, I'm just showing you the ones in my collection, so I'm sorry that this was really, really limited edition and you cannot get this anymore. This is Lilybug by Native War Paint, and this is the more lighter and more, I guess, like goldy version of emerald. Um, so this is a super dense micro glitter. It's going to take two coats to get opaque, but it's going to be very, very textured. I won't harp on it too much, because like I said, you cannot get this anymore. But the first one from Emerald Glitters is Lilybug by Native War Paints. A lot of indie brands especially have come out with birthstone collections and the only birthstone collection that I own with I, that I own the emerald is the 901. So this is obviously emerald. To me this is a bit more turquoisey than the true emerald that we've kind of been seeing in the Pantone photo especially. But like I say KB Shimmer has done these, um, I believe Dollish Polish has done them, lots of brands have done the kind of birthstone range so you've got a lot of options when it comes to it out there on the indie market but this is going to be two coats of nine zeros emerald again it's going to dry textured so you will need a good top coat and the last one in my collection is emerald sparkle by china glaze this was one of my lemmings we are going to be talking about this again in my lemmings video update um, this is a dark emerald so this is actually more of what i think of when i think of the color emerald than the light color that Pantone is trying to get me to think of. This is actually more to me, emerald anyway, one of like the dark jewellery, like stone emerald. This is what I think of. This is stunning. This is the same formula as Ruby Pumps, but green. So it, it's got lots of glitter and shimmer in there, but it doesn't, um, and it's not hard to remove. So it's perfect. It is hard to find, but if you can get it, I would recommend it so much. Emerald Sparkle by China Glaze. So that is the Pantone Throwback Thursday video for 2013's colour, which was Emerald, and also our video for August. In September and October, I'm going to be going actually back to how this series started, and we're going to be doing collection reviews. I did do some sneak peeks, and I have been doing some kind of reveals for September's one, because I am really excited about it. It is a very popular OPI collection, 
And that's all that I'm going to say at this point, but as we get closer to the time, you will see more sneak peeks. And hopefully, I think some of you have already kind of worked it out. And I believe in, um, what month are we then in after that? In October, I'm trying to do a China Glaze one. I'm just hunting down the last few polishes that I need. So thank you so much for being with me. Sorry, Kat is knocking the camera now. Thank you so much for being with me and with my series Throwback Thursday. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.